Uh, so hi everyone. Today we'll try to understand what is softmax temperature function and how is it different from softmax function. So I'm assuming that if you have in the field of data science in AI, you must have heard of this particular function softmax. Softmax uh, function is basically used for normalizing a particular uh, input vector. So here you can see that uh, like assume that we have five values uh, in a particular input vector uh, which are not normalized. By normalization, we mean that all the values should lie between uh, uh, zero and one and eventually all these should add up to one. So if we have values like one, two, three, four, five, then we might apply softmax function to bring these values in a range of zero to one such that when we uh, after applying softmax, the summation of all these values becomes one. So this is basically majorly used in uh, for multi classification problems where we wish to have uh, probabilities for uh, different classes in the end of the uh, in the end of the particular neural network that we are applying. So the formula is pretty easy. Uh, here you can see the exponential of z upon uh, summation of exponential of z. So what we are doing is that we are taking a particular uh, value at a particular index i upon a summation of uh, the exponentials of all the values at the part uh, in the particular vector. So that uh, the value get normalized. Now, in case of uh, uh, softmax temperature, uh, the formula doesn't differ a lot, but uh, slightly. So, in place of zi, we are using zi upon t, uh, in both in numerator and denominator, as you can see uh, besides the softmax function formula. So, what does softmax temperature helps us in doing? So, if you look at uh, the uh, below values, you can see that when the temperature equals to one, that means that when you're using the softmax function, because uh, upon one gives us the same thing. So, uh, softmax temperature function with temperature equals to one, the t uh, constant t that we are using is softmax and nothing else. So, here you can see that how the uh, function is very perky. It's uh, like uh, most, it's uh, the all the information is accumulated with homework and nothing is going with cake book assignment card. Now, when the value goes to two, the function, the values have smoothed out a lot uh, a bit. And when the t is equals to five, the value is smoothed out a lot. So here you can see that as we are increasing the value for t, the uh, the distribution of uh, values that is present uh, is getting smoothed out. So.